Wait, that's right. That's right, Christine. You know, the initial trigger for an allergy, whether to food, pollen, or something else, is usually exposure to the allergen itself. This is unusual because the trigger seems to be not the meat, but a tick bite. Something in tick saliva is close enough to a chemical in animal meat to cause a nasty reaction. Carnivores know the feeling. Sometimes you just gotta have a juicy hamburger or a thick steak. But what if a few hours later you look like this? It's a completely new form of food allergy in which you eat beef or pork or lamb, and three or four hours later you develop highs. The culprit, according to a new study, it may be the Lone Star Tick commonly found in the southeast, but also along the coast into the tri-state area. I would say we're 98% sure that the Lone Star Tick can do this. Researchers are still trying to figure out exactly how a tick bite triggers the meat allergy that was first described in 2006. It seems to develop after eating beef, pork, lamb, any mammalian meat. What's even harder to understand is that unlike most allergies, the hives, itching, and worse don't show up right away. Do not get hives until four hours. And you've, you've no idea how strange that is for us as allergists. Dr. Platts Mills is leading the meat allergy research at the University of Virginia, partly because he's actually a victim. He had a reaction to red meat five years ago. Wow, this is really true. You know, that when you have something happen to yourself, you really get it. Um, and since then, we've become aware of a thousand cases. It's not clear how long these allergies will last, but experts say it's another reminder for anyone outdoors to take precautions against tick bites. Wear long pants, use DEET insect repellent, and check yourself for ticks when you come inside, or you could become a reluctant vegetarian. Christine? All right, Dr. Max. Also, some doctors and parents are raising some concerns over a ban on sunscreens at schools, daycare centers, and summer camps. 49 out of 50 states don't allow sunscreen without a doctor's note. School districts say that they're stuck. It's a state law put in place because of so many additives in lotions and sunscreens that cause allergic reactions in children. Many parents argue the rules should be reconsidered. They couldn't.